Hello and welcome to a new video. It's been a good while since I posted like a really recent video. I uploaded a video maybe just before Christmas and it was just kind of random footage to be honest of what I had on my phone. Um, I just kind of thought I'll just get something up because I hadn't posted in a month or so. Um, so yeah, I'm just here to do a voiceover, update you, as well as just show you a little art haul. Um, I recently did bought some art supplies from Jackson's and I just thought I would kind of show you them and me using them as well as just kind of have a little chat. Um, I hope, for, well firstly I hope you all had a nice time um, over the Christmas period, over the festive period. I hope you could take some time to rest and kind of re-energize and yeah take care of yourself um i had a really nice time <laughs> over the festive period i had a really lovely kind of break so far and i had like such a lovely last week of work as well i think i was feeling quite like not anxious but kind of um maybe like the anticipation of just like breaking up made me feel like a bit like on edge <laughs> I'm not quite sure how to explain it but I had a, such a lovely week um, and I kind of the last couple weeks of my work I started doing more tattoos which kind of made me feel a little bit anxious as well just because I'm changing the routine that I have become comfortable with because I want to do more tattoos because I really enjoy it um, and I'm also doing machine tattoos now kind of all all together with the hand poke as well so what I'd ideally like to do is kind of do one day machine one day hand poke and that seems to work really well for me so that was all really lovely and I'm really looking forward to opening my tattoo books in January and yeah so the from kind of like September to December it's been super full super busy really quite hectic and really stressful at some points um my book that i'm publishing has completely taken over or it did over those few months i at one point was working on the book almost every day um and it felt felt very unmanageable if i'm being completely honest i think just because i didn't i had no expectations going in to this and obviously no experience as well um and i had to hit kind of like a deadline but i did it and it was fine and I did the best I could and I think that's all that matters to be honest so I've recently just gotten back the I think the copy editor version of the kind of first initial draft of the book and she's kind of taken it and edited it and oh, oh sorry I just want to show you this painting really quickly I really love this painting that I did I've gotten more into painting this is the reason why I bought some more art supplies sorry just wanted to put it in there um and yeah so she's given me that back and she's refined it and it looks really good I've just got to do a few of my own edits there's a few little tweaks that I want to make before um kind of sending it off again and the shop update went really well I think I said this in my last video that went really well the little ceramic sleeping soles all sold out um, I'm currently in the middle of making some more and I'm really excited about that and I've got lots of ideas of different types of sleeping soles I'd love to make it like a collectible thing where you can kind of collect a range of them and um, I kind of hope to do kind of like a limited number of each sleeping sole so maybe like 50 or 100 and then once they're gone they're gone um, and I hope to kind of try and make some in glass as well which I'm really excited about so I'm kind of just experimenting i've currently made some glass molds that i'm gonna fire so the glass can kind of sit and like slump into the shape of a sleeping soul and yeah really looking forward to that and doing more glass doing more ceramics i really feel like now i kind of know what i want to do and know what i want to put on my website and kind of refine it all a bit more so i'm really really looking forward to that um yeah so just looking forward to next year um i feel like it's a bit of a fresh start when we hit a new year um and like i love to do not like resolutions as such but just like goals and i love doing like a little dream board of like things i'd like to just achieve in the new year um and i find it really helpful as well just to kind of visualize my goals and future which is really really nice 
um, and I've also gone down to only having therapy once a month which feels really lovely as well so I think kind of mental health wise I'm in a good place and yeah that feels really nice as well I guess because I think over the period of doing bits on YouTube I've kind of had a really big highs and then really low lows so at the moment it feels all very manageable which is really nice and I'm not waking up thinking of anxiety anymore and that's really really lovely so all positive I think and just looking forward to the new year and just excited to see what comes in the new year I think and what's gonna happen with like my art career and this book that's publishing gonna be published next year so all really exciting to my kitchen. Um, I just thought I'd show you what I'm working on. So you've just seen like a tiny little clip of some plates that I've been doing um, for Christmas. I ask for some slumps, wooden slumps to make plates and it's, it's, it's just kind of what I've been working on. Um, so the rest of them are kind of drying at the moment, um, but I just need to finish this one. It's going to be some flowers and it's going to be a gift for some friends. So I need to do that. I've also been doing some more Sleeping Souls. Um, I kind of need to paint over this one. There's like a few little bits that I've missed, but done. I've got about like three more of them that I need to finish. But yeah, I've been enjoying doing these. I've got I've got quite a few plates done now, maybe like almost ten. Um, so I might try to do a few more. I'm gonna do a shop update in a couple months' time. Um, I was gonna open my shop in the new year, but then I just I was like, oh, I might as well do like a shop update and like have new products. Sorry, I'm bending down. It's just if I do this, you can't really see me. Oh, it doesn't really matter, does it? So. Yeah. Working towards a shop update. All good. Hello and welcome. It's uh Monday. Yes. It's Monday the second of January twenty twenty three. Um Happy New Year, I guess. Yeah, Happy New Year. I hope it's been like a gentle start to your year. Um, I thought I'd start this year by trying to do some more exercise. That was kind of like one of the main, not a goal, but just something that I'd really like to do more of just because I hardly do any, I don't do any exercise. I do some walking, I guess you could call exercise, but I feel like it's not, not, yeah, not great um especially now since i've got a car and i drive as well so yeah i did did that went to the got up half eight went to go to the gym and then it, i realized well i didn't realize until i got there that obviously it's bank holiday today a bank holiday monday so it was shut so then i just came home and did like a 20 minute home workout um got a shower had some food but i just thought i'd show you quickly what I've done, um, I think you've seen previously that I've done some plates. I've done probably about like 10 plates now. Um, I really enjoyed doing them. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed the process of making them. I'll show you just a couple that I've done. I'll show you like the small ones that I've done just because that's a bit easier. So they're just like little different bits like this. Um, and they're all <laughs> different thicknesses, unfortunately, but I'm okay with that for the moment. I haven't got any, um, what do you call them? Like when you are when you roll out clay to get like an e even thickness, you need like two these two little slats, which you can make out of wood, which just kind of levels the clay as you roll. Um, but I don't have those at the moment. I have ordered some and I've ordered a rolling pin, like a really big one, because the one that I've got, it only, yeah, I can't roll really, really big slabs. Um, so I did, I have ordered some. So these are like, they're almost done. I just need to like tidy them up a little bit more. 
but like I've done, I've got like, these are like the smallest. So ooh, sm I've got small, medium, large, no, small, medium, large, extra large and extra, extra large. So the biggest plates are kind of like that big. But yeah, I think they turned out really cute. I just need to refine them a bit more, I think. Hoping to have those at the next shop update that I do. I'm planning on doing a shop update in March. I kind of was gonna just open my shop in a new year just as just opening it but then I was like I don't feel like there's really much point I feel better when I have new products upload it advertise it put a load of like energy behind it then open it open it for two three months close it again well two months close it then it'll be like another three months open it again so you're kind of having like these yeah I like, I prefer that. I find it easier as well for me, just because I'm obviously the only person behind doing my shop. So because of everything else that I kind of juggle, I find that a bit easier. Yeah, sorry. So if you haven't seen, um, I make these ceramic, they're called Sleeping Souls. And basically the idea behind them was, I really like the idea of little worry dolls. And where you like hold something and it kind of, grounds you like grounding a little grounding thing and it's supposed to kind of take your worries away um, when i was younger my mum i think she bought me but she i would use like crystals for that just like keep them in my pocket if i was feeling anxious about school or whatever really and it's just a way to feel a bit of like comfort so i made these that kind of like fit in the palm of your hand and it's like a little sleeping person um, and we're currently on number 20 which is really nice and I only launched them like a couple of weeks ago so I haven't to, to be honest I like I haven't really put much haven't really put too much advertisement into them or anything or energy in terms of like trying to get them out there but I want to this year try to get them into like shops I think would work really really well um, so I think that would be really nice and I feel like I'm still trying to work out the pricing for them as well because they do take a long time to make. Um, so yeah, but yeah, really, I'm gonna add a bit more to this, but I'm really I like how it's turned out to be honest. And I'm gonna paint it black, and then add some just like little mental healthy details to it. So yeah, that's kind of all I've been working on, and um, today. I'm just gonna chill I think for a lot of today. Yesterday I did some work on my book. Um, yeah, I can't think of, I think I've spoken about that. <laughs> I can't remember to be honest. But um, I've worked on my book and um, I'm just waiting now to hear back from the copy editor and just like a couple of people and hopefully like the next stages of the book should be a bit more um exciting I think I'm not I'm not academic in the slightest so the writing part of it I found really really difficult and just like really overwhelming did my swimming as you just saw and I had some breakfast with Kyle and I'm now just kind of chilling I was really shocked at first. Um, I've never worked with a brand like that before. 
I, I had to be like, wait, who? <laughs> like the Kleenex, you know? I was a little bit nervous, uh, but mainly just excited. You don't get the opportunity to do art for Kleenex every day. <laughs> I kind of always hope that people can just connect with my work. I think that's kind of like the f most important thing for me is when people engage with my work, they can kind of relate to it and kind of get a sense of comfort and warmth from it because of the message behind it. I try to always use really encouraging, simple messages that are, you know, easy to consume and can serve as a mantra that you can sort of remember throughout your day. I also hope that like when they see it throughout the day or like every time they go in the bathroom or every time they lay down to go to bed and it's next to their bed. I hope that they like hear that message and feel that message and have that message resonate for them. I hope that people come away from seeing my artwork on the Kleenex box feeling seen and validated. I hope that people look at it and remember that they're not alone. I like to think about self-care as like, what can I do today that will help future me? Being really honest with myself about what my capacity is, taking things off the table instead of adding more on and just finding ways that I can personally slow down. Trying to listen to what I need to get outside and get a bit of fresh air and clear my head. Being creative, I find that being creative really helps me kind of wind down and get things out that need to get out. In moments where I feel like I'm moving too quickly, I kind of just take a moment to breathe. I find that really helpful and I find that really accessible. Just kind of trying to move with more intention and move slowly. Creating art.